Hello out there to you in this video. Let's do a AP micro practice problem. It's a monopsony problem. So we know it's a monopsony because it says uh, the only employer of bakers in the area. So Dylan here runs the bakery uh, is the only one hiring people. So they demand uh, workers from this market and they're the only one hiring them so uh, that creates the monopsony environment so the demand here is the marginal revenue product okay and the marginal factor cost is the additional cost of hiring additional workers so that's what's going to be up here um, okay so that's how we know it's a, a monopsony usually I, I i think it's just a better idea just to uh start out and say okay look like, what, what's the profit maxim even before you look at the questions um, what's the profit maximizing uh, number of workers we're going to hire? Well, we're going to hire where the marginal factor cost equals the marginal revenue product. And then we're going to adjust that down to the supply curve because that's how much uh, of a wage I need to offer to get that many workers to be hired. So profit maximizing, we'll call this QPM. Uh, that's the number of workers we're going to hire. If the market was competitive, we'd just go to where supply and demand meet. So that would be $16 an hour. We'd hire 120 workers. So we're not going to hire this many workers at this wage. And so that purple the area, that purple triangle is going to be your dead weight loss. So specific answers to this question. If the wage rate is $13, state whether there'll be a shortage or surplus of bakers. Okay, so we just go $13 an hour, follow it over here. And that's going to be 19, 90 um uh, uh, 90 bakers that are willing to work for that uh wage and then the company wants to hire 135 so there'd be a shortage and then the um the wage that would be the difference between 135 bakers willing or sorry that the company wants to hire 135 that they want to hire and 90 uh bakers that will show up so it'd be 135 minus 90, so let me write that out, 135 minus 90, and so the shortage uh, would be 45 workers, okay? Uh, identify the profit maximizing number of workers that they'll hire, okay, so that's gonna be 90. And you would say, explain using labeling on the graph, that's because that's where a marginal factor cost equals marginal revenue product and you can say of labor identify the profit maximizing wage rate and so they're gonna uh, they're gonna hire um, at $13 an hour because that's where uh, the profit maximizing quantity equals the supply of labor okay uh, since we're here, let's just go ahead and do the dead weight loss. Okay, so the dead weight loss is right here. Okay, so it'd be 22 down to 13, so that'd be 9. Just we're just calculating the area of that triangle there. So one half 9 times the difference between 90 and 120 would be 40. So it'd be 360, and then half of that would be 180. Uh, this is measured in dollars, okay? Uh, and you could be asked, it's possible too to be asked for like, what's the total wage paid out to workers? So it'd be 90 times 13, uh, can't do that in my head. So uh, if you were asked the total wage rate, 90 workers, 13 bucks an hour, that would be 1,170 would be the total wage wage paid out. And yeah, so those are the types of things that you could be asked on AP FRQ or just in class.